This is Super Bowl Trivia on Mad Dog Sports Radio. All right, we have made an executive decision regarding TJ in Bridgeport, and uh, we have full backing any decision we make from our legal department. And we have checked it because uh, you could obviously, if you determine that uh, the contestant, in this case TJ, misled uh, in his call to Sirius, uh, to the con- contestant line and Eddie Erickson, uh, if we have determined that that was the case, and he did mislead. We have the right to terminate him as a winner. And we have decided, I have decided, and with backing from everybody, that TJ is not a winner with our contest. He is not a winner. You are not going to call this contest where we bust our ass day after day, week after week, month after month, for every fan in America who loves this contest. That includes Luke Torrey. That includes Colin Russo in Florence, Italy. That includes people in Walla Walla, Washington. That incle- uh, My son, who's not even a sports fan, gets into it. Patrick, up there bouncing around. You are not going to fart around with this contest, try to win a freaking deal, try to take something away from somebody else, and be an asshole about it. And I don't use that word very kindly. That you're not going to do. So I'm making a call. You want to come after me? You come after me. We'll fight you. And I got more platforms than you do. You want to come after me? You come after me. I'll fight you all over the place. ESPN loves me. I'll fight you there if you want me to. Any, anywhere you want, I'll fight. You are not going to fart around on this, the way we hard work on this, and spend a week on it, everybody, and start fooling around and telling us that you're not somebody who you say you are, and you play all these stupid games to win a contest, which you have won a million times. You are not doing that. So currently, we have three trips, and if he has a problem with it, I don't care. Legally, we are correct. You have a problem with it, and you're going to start harassing people if you want to do that? We're harassed right back. And I got more platforms than you do. And that's the last thing you want. Get me involved. And if you don't think Stephen A is a fan, Stephen A will let me do three hours of it. I promise you. Three hours. Go ask him. Three hours. Chris, the floor is yours. Do it. So if you're going to play that game with us, I'll play it right back. And I got more weapons than you do. You are not going to do that to Bill. You're not going to do that to Tory. You're not doing that to Colin. And you're not doing that to Eddie. Under any circ Or our company. Under any circumstances. I bought this contest here. I called Joe Brown in the NFL. The NFL. To run this contest properly. Chris, do what you want. I trust you. Do what you want. All the way to Goodell. Do what you want. We trust you with the questions. We tr- they give us tickets for the damn thing. The NFL. They're bigger than any contestant. They're bigger than me. They're bigger than you. And I am not standing for it. This is nonsense. You want to play fairly? Play fairly. We'll give you every chance in the world. We go in order. We never fool around. I try to play as fairly as I possibly can. And I do this every, week, every year for four hours. And it ain't easy. It's tedious for me at times as it is for the listener. But I am not under any circumstances, and this is a unanimous decision. Colin agrees. Bill agrees. This is not me just on my high horse. This is not right. This is not right to do this. Pretend you're somebody else. You, you, cell phones, don't. it's a joke. This is a, you're getting out of the spirit. This is supposed to be fun. You went a trip, God, you know what? What a miracle. That's what this is supposed to be about. And give people a chance. Maybe let them do a little work. Not to beat Bill Zimmerman and Chris Russo. We're show Sirius XM. Nonsense. I'm going to show you. You are out. You are not winning this trip. You're finished. You call up like that and you mess represent yourself and you do that to Eddie Erickson. You got him sweating and worried and you got to get the legal department. You think the legal department with the stock price in the freaking toilet. You think the legal department wants to deal with this nonsense? And I got to deal with it myself on a Thursday afternoon? I'm not dealing with it anymore. I'm not dealing with it. And if you're going to make phone calls and emails, you know what? You want to fight me on this? You fight because I'm going to win. I'm not losing. I, I'll go anywhere. I got more people trying to hire me right now, believe it or not. You can check it, stick it. I'll get my fifth son involved, trainer. I'll get them all involved. Michael Schmidt. You remember him? 
The New York Times guy came in last week. Here's the guy that broke the Ortiz story. I'll get him involved. Take your pain, take your loss, and play the game the proper way with some spirit and some fun. This is not life or death. We're not fighting in Ukraine. Jesus. So, right now there are, let's, let's, let's reset. Right now there are three winners, six groups of tickets, three pair still available. We're going to play until six or seven. We're going to play all day tomorrow. We're going to do our best and be fair about it and try to give away the tickets. We're, we haven't yet decided how we're going to handle that last group of tickets now because obviously we don't have any more audio. I can't keep Bill here to 3 o'clock in the morning trying to track down some player breaking down some Super Bowl that he played in 50 million years ago. So we're not sure how we're going to do that. So if we only give away three chips this year, so be it. We're going to have to live with it. I, can't, I have to make it an audio. I can't ask you a question because the poor people who have lost on the audio, they say, hold on now, how about me? I had to answer an audio. I, I could have gotten that. So I can't do that. So we got to track down another audio spot, and Bill's got to do that now between tomorrow and between now and tomorrow at three o'clock in the afternoon, because I got some dope on the phone who's playing games. After I busted my ass for fourteen years with this thing, that I'm not doing it. That's enough. I'm sixty-three years old. I don't need the nonsense. Play the game the right way. and don't play at all. 15 in front of the hour, we continue.